Positive Spin, presenting positive, the passion for change, the passion Be elated that you are alive. innovative and solution-oriented news from around the world. So it's my distinct pleasure, my honor to introduce Billy Gibbons and my friend. Billy Gibbons, please. We always say, we always say this, are you having a good time now? On today's program, we'll experience the third annual America Salute You Guitar Legends Benefit. I mean, really great night. Got to, got to. The seventh day of December, 2019, to be Merry Heart Day in the city of Palm Springs. And we'll see legendary entertainment tonight host, Mary Hart, receive a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. She is simply the greatest ever in this yeah. We realized we needed to bring all the different parties together and unite them with a shared goal. Then, we'll profile Mongolian environmental activist and Goldman Prize recipient, Bayara Agban Seren. Meeting with lawyers, conservationists, and human rights advocates. And we'll learn how rural people in Uganda are finally securing their land rights. Following that, we'll learn about an innovative program to improve children's health in India. You know, since the 75 million years before the 20th century. Well, that about covers the details. Finally, we'll visit the Museum of Natural History in New Mexico. Welcome to beautiful downtown Albuquerque. 75 million years before the 20th century. Positive Spin covered the third annual America Salutes You Guitar Legends Concert and interviewed the organization's president, Bob Oaken. The concert raised funds to support our veterans and first responders. San Diego! San Diego! So Bob, it's great to be here and to meet you but our audience would like to know about America Salutes You. What is the creation? What is the purpose? What are the goals? Well, it's great. I, I'm so delighted to be with you all. Um, as far as America Salutes You goes, um, I've been involved in the veterans nonprofit world for about 14 years. We've had a family charity that gives scholarships to military families. And it also came from the television world. I, I worked at NBC Universal in Washington, D.C., more on the legal regulatory side than on the creative side. And I really felt like it, there was a need that a lot of our veterans, as well as first responders, might be forgotten over time, so that the longer we got away from 9-11-01, it's almost 20 years now. And so what I really wanted to do was to do something on an annual basis, that would be a nationally broadcast benefit concert that would both raise awareness, as well as funds, for charities that help veterans and first responders mostly in the brain and mental wellness area. And um, maybe I got in over my head or I got too far out ahead of my skis, but uh, we started it four years ago. And the idea was to uh, put on a benefit concert, film it for television, try to find the right distributor, and uh, line up different charities. They would rotate each year and then ask the public through text to donate, as well as going online, to donate funds. And so 100% of the funds from public would go to the various charities so that we would collect them and then distribute them until the next year. And so now we're in year four, some of the great guitarists coming together to perform and we make that into a holiday special. So this year it's Guitar Legends 3. We've had the wonderful fortune of having Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top as our host and when Billy puts out the call, everyone comes. So what is the impact on the families, on the veterans? on the organizations that you work with, and how do you see that impact growing, let's say, over the next five years? The impact of America Salutes You is to uh, never forget the military families, as well as the uh, first responder families, uh, and the first responders and veterans, and those who are active duty themselves. The power of music and the power of entertainment is really how I think we can reach young and old alike. And the focus on brain and mental wellness is not just for veterans and first responders. You know, it's very broad across the population. It's an international issue. 
So I guess we have some grandiose plans for America Salutes You, but the title was also designed to be very broad. We might salute veterans and first responders, but we might, another year from now, salute teachers and nurses. So it's really designed to be, though, annual, raise awareness, and raise funds for, for a variety of charities. So it's my distinct pleasure, my honor, to introduce Billy Gibbons and my friend. Billy Gibbons, please. We always say, we always say this, are you having a good time now? You know, this is going to be one of those great, great nights. I mean, really great nights. Got, got a bunch of great... I think I got to do this one for you. Peace is the most important thing on the planet. If we don't have it, we're in bed with it. So as human beings, we're all here together. At least for the world is the best world imaginable. Because the flag still stands for freedom. And it can't take that away. Peace. What peace means to me is the acceptance of all through the music that I make. It is a peaceful thing. And sometimes even through that peace, you bring the raw funk of dancing around, shake it, but don't fake it. And as far as, the, I'm, I'm telling you that the, the world, we just need to concentrate on loving each other. I know it's been said before, and a trite message, but through that love comes that peace. Amen. To you guys, thanks for coming out, supporting the troops and first responders. Um, I'm happy to be here because I'm myself a military brat. I'm a Marine Corps girl. Legendary Entertainment Tonight host, Mary Hart, recently received a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. Following the ceremony, Positive Spin asked Mary Hart, her co-host Kevin Frazier, and Palm Springs Mayor Jeff Kors for their personal messages of peace. Uh, but I'm really honored on behalf of the entire city council and city of Palm Springs to reasonably present you as Dr. Wilson. And so where yeah, there, we, the city council of Palm Springs, California, by the power vested in us, from this site where we dedicate our star and hereby proclaim the 7th day of December 2019 to be Merry Heart Day in the city of Palm Springs. When it comes to entertainment news, there's only one person in the debate begins and ends with Mary Heart. She is simply the greatest to ever do it in this game. So, thank you so much. Well, peace to me means that everyone has the opportunity to succeed in this world and they get the same opportunities and right now that's not happening so you want peace so that people can live a life and advance themselves to become better. Thank you. I send prayers and hopes for the UN for unity and open discourse and tolerance. Uh, Jeff Gore is mayor of the city of Palm Springs and you know the holiday season always reminds us of the need for peace in the world that it's an opportunity for us to bring people together and remember that our common humanity is so much stronger than anything that divides us so 
my wish for the season and the year is a more peaceful world, a more peaceful country, and that everyone treats each other with respect and dignity because that's how we'll get to a more peaceful place. We now profile Mongolian environmentalist and Goldman Prize recipient Bayara Agavan Seren. Bayara set a coalition of local communities, environmentalists, and lawyers to protect the habitat of the endangered snow leopards. Snow leopards once roamed throughout Asia's mountains. But these rare cats have been victims of poaching and habitat loss due to mining, and their numbers have been dwindling for decades. Today, it's estimated that there are as few as 4,000 left in the wild. Mongolia is home to the world's second largest population, some 1,000 in all. Saving snow leopards has been Bayara Agbansaran's life's work. Battery is still good, so that's good. This cat can be so mysterious. They have uh, amazing ability to uh, camouflage themselves. We don't see them. Maybe they see us from very close. In 2009, while working with local communities on a program that helps herders and their livestock coexist with snow leopards, Bayara made a startling discovery. The entire Tostosan Bomba mountain range was given away to mining and exploration licenses. When I heard this, I knew I had to take action. Mining is a booming industry in Mongolia. 37 mining licenses had been issued within the mountains in the heart of the snow leopard's habitat. To save the vulnerable cats, Bayara wanted the licenses revoked and toast to become a national nature reserve. It was a major challenge. We realized we needed to bring all the different parties together and unite them with a shared goal. The local communities were immediately on board. Next, Bayara began broadening her coalition, meeting with lawyers, conservationists, and human rights advocates. We had to learn to work with media and with decision makers at the highest level of government. It was very challenging because this was all new territory for us. In 2015, after five years of hard work with few tangible results, a young colleague of Bayara's was found dead under mysterious circumstances. The news shocked us. People suspected that mining companies were behind Sombi's sudden death. We realized we should continue fighting as a tribute to Sombi. Bayara forged ahead. She took her case to the Mongolian parliament, where she found champions and two women members. Bayara approached me, said, uh, could you please submit a law to protect this area. We drafted a proposal with Bayra's team's help. Meanwhile, Bayara began building a media campaign to reach a nationwide audience. We organized press conferences and at each one demanded a response from decision makers. We regularly wrote articles for newspapers and websites. Bayara and I agreed it was important for people to understand that conserving nature means protecting their way of life. Bayara's determination began to pay off, with public opinion shifting in favor of conservation. In 2016, Parliament voted yes on the bill to make Toast a national nature reserve, eventually eliminating all remaining mining permits. It was a major victory for Bayara and the snow leopard. When we heard that over 83% of the parliament voted yes, I was overwhelmed with happiness.
quite a found a way to work with everybody. I don't know how did she do it, but she did it. The 1.8 million acre reserve connects two other protected areas for a combined 20 million acres in the South Gobi, making it one of the largest snow leopard habitats in the world. It is Mongolia's only park specifically dedicated to snow leopard conservation. There's lots of work ahead of us to develop Tost as a national park. That is my next goal, to support these local people to save the snow leopard habitat. For outstanding environmental achievement for Asia, the 2019 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Bayara Agbansaran, Tost Mountains, Mongolia. In Uganda, most people live in rural areas where the land is undocumented and unmapped. Now through a partnership between the United Nations Habitat Program and the Ugandan government, the people living in the rural area finally have their land rights secured. Moluria died in 1973, up to now, as you see, and you do Once all these lands are mapped and everybody knows where they are, then it is harder, more difficult for someone to come and grab land from them. And these things prior, it's uh, women, widows, orphans that have been deprived of their resources and disenfranchised, and so they have been left destitute. You find that we've had many conflicts over land. <laughs> Da jome ya dra pisa lo solo soma vudi pi majori ale me be ma patiri di aisa karega o lo solo sona ma bon chiri ni esuki azdenti o da ke kwit pi the costs of land mapping and surveying have been significantly reduced from 600 dollars per plot to $40, which is equivalent to two chickens, meaning that any landholder can afford to pay for the land mapping. In India, there's a new approach to nutrition. The program, which utilizes the planting and harvesting of vegetables with micronutrients, is having a dramatic effect on the health of the country's children.
ये पोषक तत्व प्रोटीन आयरन जो हमारे शरीर को लाभदायक है उनके बारे में सभी दीदियों को बताना और घर घर जा कर के प्रेरित करना समझाओगे भी और खड़ा होकर के लगवा भी तो फर्स्ट दिन हमने एक क्यारी का तोड़ा सेकंड दिन दूसरा क्यारी का तीसरे दिन तीसरा क्यारी का ऐसे लगातार हमारा सात दिन सप्ताह हो गया तो लगातार सात दिन सप्ताह खत्म होने तक यानी फर्स्ट वाला क्यारी का तैयार हो गया और सातों भाजी में तो एक एक क्यारी में डालते हैं इसी प्रकार हम सात प्रकार की भाजी सात दिन तक हमको मिलता है और फर्स्ट भाजी तब तक हम सातवी भाजी तक पहुंचते बाजार से सब्जी खरीद के खाते थे तो अपने को भी बचाव करके खाना पड़ता था और अब है तो अपन घर का अपना खुद हाथ से उगा के खाते हैं तो अब ताजी सब्जी मिलती है तो उससे बीमारी भी कम हुआ अब जो घर में खा रहे हैं सात घर सात थाली इसमें मतलब कुछ परिवर्तन आया है कुछ नहीं बहुत आया है स्वस्थ है मेरे घर की हमारे गांव में अभी कोई कुपोषित नहीं है पट्टी बना रहे हैं जिससे हमारे आंगनवाड़ी केंद्रों में सप्लाई करते हैं जिससे हमारे बच्चों को पौष्टिक तत्व तो मिल सके और हर घर में इसका पहुंच हो सके और हर बच्चा हमारे यहाँ कुपोषण से दूर हो पहले मेरे यहाँ के बच्चे के बहुत सर्दी जुकाम मतलब हमेशा उन बच्चों को होते रहती थी पर अभी अभी जब से कोदो कुटकी खाए हैं गुड़ पट्टी जब से मतलब जो सर्दी जो खाम उनको होती थी वो बहुत कम हुआ है New Mexico Natural History and Science Museum is known for its extensive exhibit on the history of dinosaurs. Positive Spin recently visited and experienced the interactive exhibit and other displays featured in the museum. My name is Rachel Varaka and I'm the Director of Visitor Experience here at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History. So we want to welcome you to this 30-year-old institution and show you a couple of things. This right here is our, our newest addition. This is the Bistai Beast. Um, this is an animatronic that comes to us from Japan. It's based on a specimen that was found here in New Mexico, which shows that we have tyrannosaurs here in the land of enchantment. The purpose of the museum is to create a repository for fossils found in New Mexico. Um, there's, there's lots of fossils all over the nation that are found here in New Mexico, so the people of New Mexico wanted a place to view the specimens that make their state unique. The museum was founded in 1986, and that was after a, a, a legislative action to make sure that the people of New Mexico get to see things that are important to this state. institution um, so we're, we're collecting fossils regularly and we're researching um, how those fossils fit into how we understand the natural history of really the whole world notice it's 75 million years before the 20th century well that about covers the details let's take a look at our starting point Welcome to beautiful downtown Albuquerque. 75 million years before the 20th century. My name is Andrea Jacqueline, the public relations and public information officer for the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. 
This is actually uh, the Bisley skull that was discovered here in New Mexico. It's when you see the uh, animatronic dinosaur in our lobby, that's what it's based off of, the real fossil that was found right here in New Mexico. Ooh, and this is where you can actually um, watch some of our uh, volunteers um, excavate um, some of the amazing finds that we have right here in New Mexico. Now we do have paleontologists that work across the street and the paleontologists are working on their discoveries and doing their research out in the field as well. The museum's planetarium takes visitors on a journey through space travel, from the race to the moon to the mission of the Mars rover, featuring a replica of the rover. The marine exhibit highlights the life of prehistoric ocean creatures and the formation of coral reefs and underwater vegetation. An interactive exhibit focuses on the workings of the brain and the functioning of our human bodies. And we'd love you to come visit our museum. Thank you for watching Positive Spin. This show is made possible through the generosity of the Patty and Jack Wright Foundation. Watch us on Free Speech TV, Direct TV, Dish Network, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Watch and subscribe on our previous episodes on YouTube, and please like us on Facebook. I'm Bill McCarthy. And I'm Brenda Lynn Martin. Now it's your turn. Inspire. Empower your community. Go on and make some positive news. Thank you.